back to choose your own path. Today is another day. So we showed you in the last uh, video that we made two of these. I pulled it out. This one worked out better. Just there was a little bit of coloring at the bottom that I did. And that was just to, I think I just dumped whatever I had left over in the other one to start it off, which is fine. You could see it, but the rest came out pretty good. You could see through it. Um, it's not made to see through the side. It's more to see through the front. So I'm going to keep on getting that glare. The only thing is, is um, I accidentally cracked it open or I moved it and it opened up. Let me explain this to you. Here's the, the mold. And as I was moving it, I opened it. And then what happened was like a little, this thing moved. We'll see. See what my thumb? That moved. And when I did the last pour, it poured in and it made, well, you could see this. So what I'm going to do today is... I'm gonna show you. This isn't the finished product. That's pretty good. It's a little sticking out the nose and the and the face or the the chest, but that's how I, I wanted to expose it. Like it's melting. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this. Let's bring it down. I'm gonna keep this on um, the plate. Turn it upside down. All right. And then hope hope that it's level enough. That's pretty level. Make sure it's clean because we just sand it a bit and clean it. And then I just added just a little bit of epoxy, okay? Not much. And all I'm gonna do is see if I can fill in. That's that's a big space, those things you saw. That's a big space. So I've been mixing this for about two, three minutes. I really, really want to get your epoxy mixed. Problem with epoxy is if you don't mix it, um, you can see the bubbliness in there, but that's that's the way this shit is. It's it's made to be small poured, so it's not I've made for big pours. That's why it does that. That's why you have to have a torch, or I bought this little torch here yesterday. Almost ran out of gas already. <laughs> Gotta get something to fill it up, and it helps. So all I'm gonna do is bring a little bit more light here for me, and I just wanna get it into this, in this hole. I hope it'll, uh, Hope it'll uh, get its level level itself out a little bit too much. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna see. Cause I don't, I didn't really want to box this up, like make it look all, you know, in the back get rid of it. Cause you couldn't see the back if you wanted to. But I'm not sure if this is gonna be the ideal thing to do. Cause you almost have to put a whole layer, and that's what it's happening. Is it's just trying to. It's trying to fill in the spot, but it's also going everywhere. So I'm just going to spread it out amongst the whole um, project. That's why I have it on a lazy Susie, so I can do this just to get up to the corners. If it leaks over, well, we can't control that. Try not to put. That's why I tried not to put too too much of it on there. But I think it got the best of me. No matter what. I'm just gonna try to get it in there. Like I said, I don't wanna, I, I really didn't want it to drip over the sides. But if it does, then we're just gonna have to just do a full cover sort of thing if it does leak over. Like I said, I really didn't want to do that because it's, it's a lot of epoxy. I already got extras here, which I'm gonna think of doing something else with it for a second. So like you can see, I just kind of spread it. Let's see if I can show you this better in a second. I mean, there's no really rhyme or reason how I can do this any better. I can't get this level more than what I, what I have. I just want to keep an eye on it so it doesn't start like this here. It's starting to leak over. I really didn't want that to happen. I guess what we could do is take a brush could take a, another brush like I said it just wants it's it's trying to just run everywhere with the gravity so if this side is slower or, or has a slope to it it wants to go that way you know we're just trying to cover the edges that's all we're doing but I think I may just have to take the brush get yourself a foam brush Let's move this out of the way. Hey, where'd you go? 
for the foam brush and then just all I'm gonna do is try to wipe it around it and I can't do this all day until it dries that that would be impossible but what I can do is sort of form it better with the brush like right here because it wants to like I said it, it's trying to find the gaps and then if this thing is crooked, you want to go that way, this way. The sides and the top, you're not going to see. It's not, you're not going to see that because it's going to be boxed in. But I'd like to keep the back open, like almost like a frame. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens when this dries, what it looks like. I might have to just box the whole thing. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. What we're going to do is just keep on running this out. And then, taking the torch, um, I just want to get the bubbles out, just the top. And it's just very light bubbles that you'll see. And it really filled up those, those big gaps, which is good, is what we wanted. Okay. So we'll leave that be like that. But then we just, now we just have to keep an eye on it wanting to pull over. So I want to take a really close look at what I'm doing. Make sure. It was good to have these little eye things. <laughs> Magnifying glasses. You can see everything. Except for when you knock into things. Get out of the way. And then again, the bubbles, you know, you have to do this a couple of times I find to get those bubbles out of there if you don't want to see them and then um let me see with the rest i just i keep on <laughs> adding whatever i can to this as in just gonna make it look like it's water this gives it a, a water effect if you do this pretty funny all right so that we're gonna let that dry I'll show you what it looks like in, in our guys. So we're back to working on our uh, snow trooper under ice. <laughs> so we're gonna start off by we're gonna put him inside here. So he's got a little bit of the same. It's the thickness is good. That's what I wanted. Um, we cut out a, a, a square or a, sorry, a rectangle. And uh, what I did was I just kind of traced, you know, to see how big. Um, we got to cut this out. So the best way to do it is just what we're gonna do is just cut a line through here And we're gonna follow the circle on the rock sign Prox on nothing crazy Just want to get um, This out I also wanted to tell you uh, I took two inches on the top and the bottom and just an inch on the sides So we're gonna pop this out and the reason I did I did it that way is because um, I want to have the backs shown. Also, we'll just clean up a bit here. This could be easily glued back together. So the next step is to get it on the inside. So even if it's, even if it's a bit big, or it won't be big because obviously um, you can know, cut it. Have that installed like that all right so the next step we want to do is uh, get this all glued in but we're also gonna add lights to this and what I've chosen was so what I chosen was these bigger lights from dollar store and uh, pretty simple it's battery operated and then they have pretty big lights in here let me just get some uh, batteries. So, um, what I did was uh, obviously I put uh, the Mod Podge and I just put a blue color on it just for now. I don't, that has nothing to do with it. Um, I set some lights in there. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, I don't know if you can see it very well, but um, that's going to look like that. So, what we want to do next different cam camera angle is uh, we need to insert these guys and all I'm gonna do 
is start off uh, with some hot glue. So this is all gonna go around and I, I wanted the last one to fit in here, but um, I think I'd have to start from the bottom and then work my way all the way around and that'll work. So all I'm gonna do is take some hot glue and uh, I'm keeping this as a reference because I want to keep it to a certain, I don't want it to like pierce right through it, like hit the other side. So you can take a little bit of hot glue and I'm just gonna add it to the first wire. And you can see I just gonna put it in there. We're not gonna worry about too much about what these look like because they will uh, eventually get pushed down. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do there too. I just wanna make sure, and I don't wanna burn the wire. That's the biggest problem. Is this is hot glue. I'm gonna keep the light on inside and uh, I'm gonna keep the light going in. Okay, so just as a little bit of hot glue, just to, to glue them down. Eventually they should harden so that it'll stay. Uh, we'll do them all in a row like this. Like I said, this we're gonna just glue to the side or tape or whatever, because we're gonna frame around it anyway. All right, so I'm just gonna go around. Up hey guys, back. sorry about that. Glad I did a little bit more than I was supposed to without filming, that we've gotten busy. So I'm just gonna show you, there's still some cleanup to do and painting, of course. Um, what I did was I just glued a bunch of styrofoam pieces that were just random. And then uh, I glued the light box on. So all you have to do is flick the switch. You can see them from behind. You can see them from the front, okay? So next step is uh, we're gonna go back and Mod Podge this, and then we're gonna just paint it. But before we do that, I'm gonna take my torch and I wanna just make a couple of, you know, burn them in pieces here. Just give them, cause this, this is pretty straight styrofoam. I didn't do nothing to it. I didn't use a, I didn't use a styrofoam ball or nothing to it. So nothing, nothing special. I just wanna melt them. No, I'm not touching the epoxy, of course. That wouldn't be a good thing to do. I just wanna bring a little bit of it sort of brings it in, sucks it in, and then this way, I know it's sort of like all together. So I'll show you this in a second. You can see it sort of melts it, so it gives it a better uniform look. And then also, when I paint it, you'll see the difference. So I'm just gonna continue doing this for a bit. Mod Podge it and then we're gonna paint it. I'll be back. All right, so what I did was I just did a white um, Mod Podge and watered down white so you can see that it's in there. Also glued the base. You can wipe down a little bit of the uh, epoxy after with some alcohol, but what I'd like to do is just give it a little bit of a grayish black wipe and we're gonna aim just for like the edges on this one you know not not too much on the, the face of it if it gets on there that's fine but it's more of a we're just trying to try the edges of each kind of brick just kind of dirty it up a bit you know uh, sort of like a dry brush but we're gonna you know put a little bit of color to it because we don't want to just white I mean, well, I don't want to just wait. And, and all that's going to do is bring out some of the some of the fine lines to it. So I'm just getting into the little corners. If it does, you know, wipe on top of it, that's fine too. We can have that. You know, we want a little bit of dirtiness happening. Um, just brings out the white a little bit more. Just just dabbing a little bit in there, wiping it down, and then hitting what we have to hit for colors. Um, 
the gray is fine. I didn't want to go black. I think black would have been a bit too, too much. So I'm just going to stick to having some gray on here. And then I think, I mean, you can't see it as much as I can, but when I took the flame or the, the, the torch to it, it, uh, it's, it's weird. It made it really cool. <laughs> kind of icy highlights. I just won a figure from him and a um, little backstory. Uh, I think it's two years ago. I think he said it to me. I'll have to ask him again or read his comment. Um, he had a house fire and he had lots of toys, lots of Star Wars stuff and he lost it all. And oh my God, I felt my heart just dropped for the man. Um, so this is just a thank you for what he's done. I mean, yeah, he picked my name, but I mean, you know, I want to give a little bit back. It's, you know, not, nothing over the top, but it's something we do. So, um, let me just keep on doing this and uh, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. All right, guys, I think we're done. I'm going to turn you around and uh, show you. Hey guys, so here it is. It's done. It's complete. You can see. He's in there, he's trapped under ice. He's starting to melt the sides and I put a top on like that. I just kind of made it look rocky. Uh, and there's the little light switch, so we'll turn that on. All right, so I don't know how good you're gonna see that, but I mean, in person it looks way better. Um, there we go, it's, uh, it's lit. It looks pretty cool, I think, I don't know. And uh, yeah, it didn't take too, too long. A little shitty paint job, but eh, it's fun. You know, it's just something that's going to go, for, you know, uh, just being a great guy. And, um, you know, it's not like, like he doesn't collect this kind of stuff, but he loves Star Wars. So I'm hoping that, you know, so this is something he'll like. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I, you know, it didn't take too, too long and uh, a lot of epoxy. So if you're going to do the epoxy builds, be careful. Uh, you know, you just got to make sure you don't uh, ruin it by making a bad frame or let it dry. Um, oh, I thought I wanted to show you. I think that's glue down there. I'm not sure. I can't really tell because it's at the bottom. I think it's hot glue, which you know, I should have made these a little bit higher. But uh, you know what? I hope he likes it. It just it's it was fun. You know, it's part of the uh, builds that I do. And uh, you know, I didn't. I let him have a little bit of uh, his nose and his chest plate is coming out, so he's sort of thawing out, kind of thing. But um, yeah, again. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. You know, we always say those kind of things. And uh, I hope uh, you guys have a really, really great day. And, uh, you know, choose your own path. If I could do it, you could do it. See you on the next one.